Hi, this is Abhimanyu from BIMSurf Projects. Today, I shall give a basic introduction to Autodesk Design Review. Autodesk Design Review facilitates easy communication between project team and in the process keeps track of the design stages. The comments or reviews are done through markups which are clear to understand. Every markup is assigned its own set of properties and shows who has requested for the particular change in the drawings as well. Now, here in the left hand side corner, as you can see, all my sheets are listed down. As I switch to this tab, my sheets get displayed as thumbnail. Now, as we move on to the third tab, we see the list of markups that have been assigned to the particular selected sheet. As I click on this markup, it gets selected in the sheet. This makes it easier to select the markups if they are in very large numbers. And at this corner, you can see its properties. At the bottom, it specifies the date and time created along with the name of the creator. And here it shows that the status is for review. As I click on it, it gives me three more other options of none, question and done. Now I will move on to another markup. Right next to this markup you can see this question mark sign and the other markups also have icons assigned to them but different ones. This indicates a status. So let's say if I can change the status to done then the icon changes to a green tick. Now let's add some markups to the drawing to understand better. First I need to go to the markup and measure tab. Here I have multiple options like callouts, drawing with freehand, highlighting a portion and even stamping the sheet. I can even measure the length or area as well. For now I will select this rectangle callout and draw it here. Now I have the option of changing the text size and color as well. So I will change the color to green and keep the text size same. Then we'll just type change the wall for now. Once done, I want to change the status to for review. As I do this, the callout gets a blue highlight. Now let's add a stamp to the drawing. Once I click on this, I get a list of stamps available and I will select not for construction and then place it at this corner of the sheet. So this way we can easily review the sheet. I will be discussing the markups in more detail in the next tutorial. Now moving on this right hand corner, you can see shortcuts to zoom in and out, pan and even different properties and views of the file. This ends the tutorial on introduction to Autodesk Design Review.